Sir Mac has sustained a traumatic injury to the prefrontal cortex of the cerebrum. And um, we here at Sir, mm. Sir Medical Center, quiet child, at Sir Medical Center removed the prefrontal cortex of his brain and he can no longer speaketh or functioneth in society. Sir Mac. Yeah, wait, let me put it right here. <laughs> what is this? Thou yeah! lack of basic intelligence! <gasps> is thou so stupid that thou did not know where he walks? Sir Mackin, what happened? Who did this to you? Here, allow me to aid you. <laughs> Although your physical aim ailment has brought you many struggles, I will try my hardest to help you in any way that I can. Mm -hmm. Sir Mac, although you are unable to say thank you, or anything for that matter, your incoherent grunts are enough to know that the actions that I have done for you today are appreciated, and that they have been done through compassion. My name is Sir Salmon, and I challenge you, Sir Sanders, to a duel. <laughs> In the name of compassion, let us show our brother here, Sir Matt, the values of compassion. <laughs> Through the power of this Merlin potion, I shall heal Mr. Sir Mac. The potion should take effect in the next couple of seconds. I am back. I I, I can speak. I can speak it. You Sir saved Mackie. me! Sir you Mackie. saved me! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the compassion that was showed to me by many, I, I very much appreciate if it's very much so. The, the, the compassion of, of Sir Pine to help me with my knapsack and and Sir Salmon to aid me in my in my roughest moments and even Sir Sanders who showed who showed no compassion at the beginning and really was bad but at the end compassion prevailed and saved us all with this project we drew the word compassion and when we got together to think about it many different things came to mind and we realized that it has a lot of different meanings and it's defined differently by many people. So we decided to make an acronym with compassion. And we're going to share it with you. C is for charity. And Sir Mac will give us an explanation of charity. Charity is giving back to those who aren't as fortunate as you. So like in our tale, Sir Mac is not as fortunate because he loses his frontal cortex of his brain. Therefore, he can't function like a normal person. So we must help those who can't function like we do. The next letter, C-O, O is for observant, and observ being observant is being aware of what's going on around you and being empathetic to those that need your help. And this is also part of our little skit because Sir Mac here uh, was severely impaired and it required me, Sir Salmon, to be observant of that fact and to help him out. And I'm observant of the fact that Negret is flexing right now. <laughs> <laughs> the next letter, M, is for mercy. And Negrete will go into it. <clears throat> for mercy. Compassion and mercy go hand in hand. Without compassion, there is no mercy. With mercy, it's very important to always think about others. Always look at the good of other people. Because if there's no mercy being shown, there's no compassion. 
and we don't want that. We want to live in a perfect world. Although it's not perfect ever, it takes one person to take that one big step. Very well said. The next one is P, which we decided was fitting for pity. Sir Mac. Pity uh, shouldn't be taken in a negative sense, as in pitying someone just because they can't do what you do. Pity is being observant to the fact that someone isn't isn't as capable as you are, therefore you should take the necessary amount of pity and help them. Easy enough. The next letter is A, which we thought aid was very fitting. And no, not AIDS as in the disease from Africa. Um, aid as in assistance and um, being chivalrous and being compassionate um, are very well tied into the fact that we need to aid others and you know, lend a helping hand and help our brother stand up. The next letter that we are going to discuss is the S for sensitivity. And Sir Negrete, Sir Sanders will be going into more detail. You know, sensitivity. It requires us to not think about others below us. So we cannot think of us being above other people. And in that, in that case, sensitivity requires us to always be merciful. The other letter, uh, the other S, uh, we decided was fitting for security, which Sir Mac will delve into. Security is feeling in yourself that you are secure enough to help another person feel secure. So security works both ways, for you and for the person you're trying to help. The next letter is I, which I decided was going to be integrity. And the classic definition of integrity is doing what's right even when others aren't looking or doing what's right even when it doesn't benefit you uh, directly and it's being it's acting in a selfless way and our our skate was full of that because of sir max injury to his head and his mild retardism us helping him out um really showed a strong case of integrity the next letter is o for optimistic sir sanders optimism when someone is optimistic they see the best in other people and when you see the best in other people, it always builds this sort of trust and confidence. And that is what we need in this world. Optimism. Because that will lead you to great things. Glass is half full, not, not half empty. <laughs> Optimism. The last one. N. For knights. That's what, what we, we are. are. The knights <laughs> of the round table. Yes. Of the chamber of King Arthur. Mm. This concludes our analysis of the word compassion. Thank you for watching. Um... Click the link above uh, or drop a like, smash a like button down below and um, subscribe for more premium content. Catch you next time. Gang.